Hi, and welcome back to Queen of Pod Creations tutorial videos. And today I will be sharing a live Zoom, a portion of a live Zoom beading circle session that we have on Sunday afternoons in my beading circle Facebook group. And the instructions were from the craft work techniques of the Native American that I purchased from Crazy Crow Trading Post. So I'm going to use some brain tan buckskin size 11 seed beads, size 11 John James beading needles, some nylon Nymo beading thread, and I used a size D for this project. Here's today's video and I hope you enjoy it. I'm just going to draw my front panel because that's where we're gonna put the beadwork. Put it in pencil so that I won't have ink marks on it. All right, that's gonna be four and a half inches there. And we're gonna go three and a half across the top. No, oh, I'm gonna get over here. It's not good to go. Now it's gonna, I believe it gave me a five inch. Go on. So. So I'm going to start my lazy stitch in the center and work my way out so that I can be sure that my design is centered on the front. I'll put this pencil mark on there so it won't stay colors with your back. Round. By the way, you're going to cover this small area here with your um, beadwork. Half an inch. So they're going to be about half an inch. So we're going to measure in there. where we want the beads to be. Now I'm, I'm gonna start my row on the bottom. And I want three of them, half inch. All right, now, I don't know if you can see those rows there. Is there a pencil? But I'm gonna start in the middle row, because I have three rows there, so I'm gonna be in the middle, and I'm gonna do one, one side at a time. So in the middle row, you'll be using all, all your colors, so from your chest with your arm out, that should be worked twice. That's a good workable um, amount. You may need more thread, but double it, yeah. Because I'm doing lazy stitch and I want my beads to lay down secure and flat as possible. And I won't be going back through the beads because it's just the lazy stitch. So double it. 
and I don't want it too long. So, and now I'm gonna just go right in the middle. Um, in the center, the middle row, in the center of the middle row. That is the middle part of that design in eight beads. So now I'm gonna just lay that row down and I want it to, I want it to lay loose. I don't want it, I don't want it too tight because I don't want it to bunch up, but I don't want any space in between them. So I want them real snug. And I'm just gonna go right to the end of that row. And I'll go down. Now the next row, I'm gonna go about a half a bead away from that first row. And I wanna make sure I'm on my line because I want this, I want this row to be as straight as possible. So, but I'm about a half a bead over because I want my beads to lay right next to each other and not be bunched up there. Now I got my second row there is laying right next to it, but it, it's not gonna bunch it up. So I wanna lay it right next to there. And then we'll go down right. So my my next row is right next to it. So I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna go another half a bead away but you pull it kind of snug and they're gonna lay flat you can see that all right and that's to the end of that row now I'm gonna come back up and I'm gonna go back to that last row because I don't want just a knot hanging out the back in case it comes loose or anything. I don't want that row to come off. I'm gonna go back to that last row. And then I have my knot on the back side. But I'll have gone through that one twice. And then I'll go back to the center and I'm and I'm just gonna mirror image that and do the you same on the other side. Now that I, I have that foundation row, I can do that next one. And I want to stay right in line with the row that's above me, above it. Coming up right next to that bead. And right in line with it so that all right, I got it right next to it. Right in the center of that. I can't get my needle to stay in there. There we go. And then I would just do that second row. And I want it to be right in line with that row. And my line that I drew is right here to the bottom. And now I want everyone, I want each one of my rows to match up now. And That's now right. I will just match up the next row. 
to the ones that are already there. <laughs> there we go. And then I'll just go down right next to that row. Right in the middle of that bead. And there's my second row, all done. That's great. Take my, and take my needle, because I don't want to not, if I don't have to. Once that lazy stitch beadwork is all done and then it's time to assemble the pieces, um, I'll have the front, back, and fringe part sandwiched together, uh, right sides facing each other, to whip stitch around the outside edge to start in the, go all the way around the edging and start in the middle and work up both sides so that I can make sure it's nice and even. I turn that bag right side out, punch some holes and put some uh, leather lace through and put some stud embellishments. So, and that's the finished product. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I, I hope that you learned something and I would more than appreciate you coming by and um, joining our beading circle facebook group if you come into in, to join please be sure to answer all three questions so that you can be let into the group and we have our live sessions on sunday afternoons from 1 to 4 p.m pacific standard time you can also go and visit my website at www.quinwellpawcreations.com and i hope you enjoyed this session and Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.